This job made a lot of sense to me at this point in my life. I had spent 25 plus years in the industry covering everything from news to different formats of content creation, um, a lot of different types of production, everything from radio to magazine, of course, television. And I had an opportunity to take all those years of knowledge and hopefully share them with the next generation of storytellers. It's been very rewarding. I think one of the best things about video production and advanced film out here at SeaTech is the state-of-the-art equipment. Students have access to everything from incredible studio that we have that's complete with a huge green screen. We have professional lighting and a professional lighting board they'll uh, learn to use. We have Hitachi studio cameras, um, which are amazing, get just incredible video. We do have mobile gear that includes our Sony cameras, our Magnus tripods, and lots of different lights. We do have a drone that captures amazing video. And we have a professional audio room that has a soundproof booth. We do use math a lot in this classroom. We do a lot of work with time and with deadlines. We figure out priorities and how much time to spend on a task while scheduling our different shoots. We also deal with budgets and money, specifically what our time and equipment would cost in the production of our projects. The students edit with Premiere Pro software and the Adobe Creative Suite, and they have access to cutting edge software right here on campus. Working with this equipment is amazing. We have two different cameras that we get to work with. We have Adobe Premiere Pro that we get to edit off of, and any other equipment that we have around here is top of the line. So what we do in this class is we edit, uh, we shoot. Uh, we also learn other stuff like leadership, uh, working together as a team, um, you know, working, working with challenges that we, 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 are, uh, we don't expect. And, you know, just like this is a classroom and this also feels like a job. Uh, honestly, you know, is we I really do appreciate all the equipment that we have that's offered for us uh, for as students. You know, we don't really you don't really see this type of stuff in a, in a classroom setting. How to be successful in this class? That's a great question as well. The successful student in this class will understand deadlines and have a lot of self-discipline when it comes to being able to prioritize. You definitely learn to be confident in yourself, I think, over the course of the year. And those students that are open to that, that are open to learning new things and working with new people, and those students who care about their craft will do very well in my class. How to be successful in this class would be to pay attention to the teacher um, engage in the projects that we do with your partners and honestly just to have some fun. The only way to be successful in this class is to honestly express yourself in a way that everyone can see you for you. Um, that's the only way, that's the only advice I can really give to the people who want to be in this class. The best way I can tell a student uh, who wants to be in this class uh, the best advice I can give them is to honestly just be themselves. Um, express yourself in a way that others can see you for you. You know, but your vision is, is this is like a form of art. You know, um, just put it, just you know, put it out there. You know, don't be afraid to show people that you know what you're making matters. You know.